let's start off uh, with your early life and education in Kenya. Well, I was born in Kenya, mm -hmm. and I went to school here. And in those days, uh, we were under British colonial rule. And as you know, Kenya was racially divided. Mm -hmm. So all the schools, the hospitals, clubs, various facilities were divided on a racial basis. Right. So the schools that we went to, was uh, I went to, was a school that was reserved for Indians. Mm -hmm. There was a different school for Europeans and a different school for Africans. Mm -hmm. So I went to what was called at that time the Government Indian Primary School, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which eventually became Government Indian High School. Okay. Eventually the Duke of Gloucester School. Oh, I left, which is Jamuri High today. Uh, what is today <coughs> the Jamuri High. I'm from Jamuri. My brothers, we're all from Jamuri High. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And thereafter? <coughs> uh, thereafter, I sort of did senior Cambridge at, uh, uh, at Duke of Gloucester. I could not proceed further because of financial problems, mm -hmm. so I didn't do my A-level, and I went out to work. So I looked for employment, mm -hmm. and I got a job with Kenya Shell. And uh, I served in Kenya Shell from 1953 right up to 1956 to be able to earn some money to enable me to go to England. So how did you pick law as a career? I think I had no option. So when I joined Shell, I had no idea what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, they took me on, and then my boss, who was an Indian, he told me that I was wasting my time in uh, Shell, mm -hmm. and I should really f uh, pursue further studies. Right. So and he suggested to me that I should take up law. And I told him that I didn't have the required qualifications, and that I didn't have the minimum A-level, mm -hmm. nor a university degree. Right nor what they required, which was compulsory, to have Latin as a subject. Okay. However, I applied, and to my surprise, I was admitted, despite only having done O-level, and despite not having the Latin. Wow, that's uh, interesting. Latin. That was a real stroke but, of luck. But I think also my performance at Cambridge was very good. I think I stood first mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in the entire Cambridge examination, and that's probably... And then you went to the UK. That's when I went to the UK. Okay. And uh, you came back? Uh, yeah, I went in 1956. Yeah. I completed my law within three years because of financial problems. I could not waste time. So I took the first available examination, passed it, fortunately. And I and came uh, back. And which university you qualified? Uh, at Lincoln's Inn. Just Lincoln's Inn. Wow. And, the, and the 